Swedish face. See this mouth all twist over so I can't shut it. See this eye? No way it ain't it. Been that way for 80 something years now. <laughs> Guess it stay that way till I die. Well, old Mrs. made this face this way. I don't know about slave days, do you? Well, I tell you what slave days was like. Master was a well-meaning man, but old Mrs. was a common dog. In the house, she ain't put enough on the table to feed a swallow. But here's how it happened. She put a piece of candy on her washstand one day. I was about eight or nine years old at the time. And it was my job to enter the slop each morning. I see that piece of candy laying there. And I was hungry. Ain't had no father working in the field like some of the other children bring me eat. Just had pieces of scrap back thrown from the kitchen each morning. I see that peppermint stick laying there. But, but I ain't dare go near because I, I knew old missus was just waiting for me to take it. Then one morning I was so hungry I can't resist. I went straight in there and I grabbed that stick and I stuffed it in my mouth and I Shoot it down quick so old missus never find me with it. Next morning she say, Henrietta, you take that piece of candy out of my room? No, ma'am. I ain't see no candy. Child, you lying. You took that candy. Dear missus, I, I tell the truth. I ain't see no candy. I ain't took it. Child, you're lying, and I'm going to whip you. Come here. Please, missus, please, please don't whip me. I ain't seen no candy. I ain't took it. I tell the truth. Then she grabbed her rawhide from the nail by the fireplace, and she laid me across her knees so as to hold me while she sat in her rocker. I twist and I turn till finally she called her daughter in. That gal come in and took the strap just like her mother told her. And commenced to lay it on real hard. I twist away so there wasn't no good chance of her getting no lick in. Then old missus lift me by my leg. And she stuck my head under the bottom of her rocker. And she rocked forward so as to hold me. She rocked forward so as to hold me some more. I guess they must have whipped me that way for near about an hour with that rock leg pressing on my head. Next thing I know, the doctor was there and I was lying on my pallet in the hallway and he was pushing and digging at my face, but he couldn't do nothing at all with it. Seemed like that rocker pressing on my young bones had crushed them all into a soft poke. I feel it the next morning. And it wasn't no bones on the left side at all. And my mouth kept moving over to the right. 
I couldn't chow nothing, only drink milk. I guess old Mrs. got kind of sorry. Because she gets the doctor to come on the regular and pry my mouth. He get it after a while so it's open. And I can move my lips. But it kept slipping over to the right. And I couldn't stop that. And I ain't grow no more teeth on that side. Ain't never been able to chow nothing good since. Don't even remember what it is to chow. Been eating liquid stews and soups ever since that day. And that was 86 years ago. Here. Put your hand on my face. Right here on my left cheek. That's what slavery days was like. Had me going around so I looked like a false face all my life. With chilling laugh and babies get to crying when they see me. Coach, I don't mind it. I don't think on it. Except in when I see someone staring at me. Real hard. Wondering what devil got into me made me bound this way. It didn't was a devil done it. A she devil was a twisted and burning in hell. Nice to see old missus looking at me. I never said nothing, just sat there staring without knowing I knew it. Guess old missus got tired of having me around. When I was 14, her and master gave me the master cousin. Was with them when freedom come. They let me stay on with them same as the whole. Except then they pay me a little each month. Stayed with them till I got married. Soon after I married, I heard old Mrs. died. So <laughs> didn't make me drat no tear. Thank you.